All right, so episode two of Dragon Ball Super hype. Um, in this episode, there was a little bit of action, not that much, but I didn't mind at all because to see Vegeta on a family vacation and to see that old clip from Dragon Ball Z when he promised Trunks if he hit him, he was going to take him to the amusement park. Vegeta's pride as a warrior to go on that vacation, he didn't even look relaxed at all except when the food came and then he was eating the octopus and then he got inked on, he got so mad, he was destroying stuff basically, it was just crazy. Um, the, when that announcer got told him to dance and he just flew away, he's like, I'm done with this. Vegeta lasted one night, a whole day, day to night, in that resort vacation for his son, for his family. And then he just went to train because he admitted that Kakarot or Goku is stronger than him. He did set that in the end of Dragon Ball Z during the Majin Buu arc, but he says he wants to become the strongest in the universe, which, yes, I want to see that happen. I want to see him surpass Beerus, hopefully in the future. Um, and basically, he was training under 150 times gravity. Goku's training under 10 times the Earth gravity. Vegeta's training under 150 times Earth's gravity. So how in the world is Goku gaining more strength than Vegeta if Vegeta trains more harshly than Goku? I, I, I do not understand. That, that's, that's one of the things. I always say Akira Toriyama has some weird thing. If Vegeta is doing more training under more gravity, how is he surpassing Goku easier? Why is he still stuck on Super Saiyan 2 and Goku's already Super Saiyan 3? At this point, there's no Super Saiyan God yet. Um, Goku training King Kai's world. King Kai sounds so weird in the Japanese version because um, I'm used to the dub, but I, I could get... His voice just sounds like weird. Goku's training was like huge amounts of weights and stuff. And then the, the episode just shifts to Beerus food adventures. Beerus and Wiz food adventures. They go to, um, Wiz goes to another planet, starts to take some dinosaur meat from some alien. The alien transforms. I was surprised. I'm like, damn, this alien can do everything because everybody around him depends on him, that alien. And I guess he's the number one warrior or something. Beerus says it's boring, destroys the planet. And he just gazes at the destruction of the planet. Like he's just gazing to the sunset or stuff. And it's mine. He, and he's like, I never get used to the destruction of planets. The Elder Kai is like, didn't you feel that? To um his pupil, or whatever. And Beerus is awake now. He's just destroying planets. Like, I'm so excited. I'm like, this is the god of destruction. No mercy on planets and stuff. And he remember who was the person that was gonna keep him entertained, Super Saiyan God. So he will be approaching Earth, not now, but in a couple episodes later. And like I was saying in my anime talk, this is the calm before the storm. We got that family vacation, those peaceful times. Next week's episode is gonna be the same thing. But as the episodes keep progressing, we're getting a little more of action, 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 and different scenes with Beerus and Wiz. And eventually they will come to Earth and I want to see how they execute this. Are they going to do the same thing as in Battle of the Gods? Or are the fight scenes going to be different? How, how are things going to change? How are things going to differ? Great episode. Um, some fighting here and there. I like Vegeta just in that family vacation looking so pissed off. And even when woman, I said woman, even when Boma gave him um, like love and affection, he just pushed her aside. I was like, come, come on, Vegeta, you can't be that that mad you at least gotta hug or something because he's a prideful saying so he doesn't care about vacations he cares about training so my favorite scene of this episode was when vegeta just got so mad and flew away in the middle midst of all people and pushed all of them away and then the announcer gets like damn i i, I didn't know we had like that that kind of entertainment he just flew away like f this so yeah, Vegeta for the win, my favorite character in Dragon Ball Z. I really enjoyed this episode. Some people may say, once again, uh, this episode is boring. We're so constant action, but I, I'm actually like, enjoying the story of peace right now because the action will come more later on throughout the series. Overall, I'll give this episode an 8 
out of 10. It was a great episode, and I can't wait for next week's episode. Hope you enjoyed this review, and if you did, remember to subscribe and like the video. Peace.